it always seems to happen at the most inopportune time. Uh, conference room, board meeting, uh, at work, uh, saying a prayer before a meal. The room's all quiet and your stomach starts to growl. For the longest time, a lot of us have thought it's just our body's way of telling us uh, that we're hungry to get something to eat. And that's partially true. In the next minute or two, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it works and why our stomachs actually growl. First off, it's important to note uh, what is actually making the noise uh, when our stomachs growl. And to answer this, we have to take uh, a long look at our, our digestive system how the food basically travels throughout the body. Our digestive system starts <clears throat> at the mouth where we actually intake the food and it ends on our backside. Just a big long tube going through our body with different organs um, that help break the food down as it goes through the body and different muscles that help contract the food. That's what actually pushes the food through those organs and eventually out your body. That actual system of muscle contraction is called peristalsis, um, and it actually occurs uh, just about every hour within your body. It's important to note it occurs every hour <clears throat> whether there's food in your digestive system or not. And that's important because, say you've eaten, um, it's performing peristalsis, moving the food through the body, through muscle contractions. Um, when, it's, when those muscles are contracting and there's food there, there's not as much room for air pockets. When there's not as much room for air pockets, that's when you don't necessarily hear a growl. Um, you, you might still hear some rumbling in your stomach. There might be some small air pockets. That's why you hear some noises as your digestive system is pushing the food through your body when you're full. Uh, but you don't hear that loud, that loud growl. What causes that is, say two or three hours later after you've eaten, your body's performing peristalsis like it does every hour and there's no food to push it down through the body because you haven't eaten in three hours. Well, because of that, it has to push something down. It has these air pockets and gas pockets. And those air pockets are what make the actual loud noise we refer to as stomach growling. Now, one way to reduce these noises, or at least make them a little bit softer, and also a way to eat a little bit healthier, uh, is to eat six to eight small meals throughout a day as opposed to two to three large ones. Um, that way, your body has always got some sort of food it's digesting. Um, and there's not as much room for those air pockets, and you'll notice your stomach won't be growling as much if you do that. So I hope this video has uh, told you a little bit as to why our stomachs growl. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry.